I think it's good for the soul to experience the night sky the way our ancestors did before artificial lights. And to have a place where you can do that near your house is pretty special. I'm John Reed, and we are in Big Lake, Nova Scotia within the HRM. And this is the newly resurrected Abbey Ridge Observatory here at a place we are calling Stargaze, Nova Scotia. It was in early 2023, and there was a comet in the sky that you could hypothetically see without a telescope if your skies were dark enough. And I went looking with some friends and we were totally unable to find a place to see this comet within an hour of downtown Halifax. So I realized that people in Halifax needed a place where they could go and observe phenomena like meteor showers or the Northern Lights or even a comet. And because it didn't exist, I started looking. Now, if you look at a map of uh, Halifax and you look at a light pollution map, which is what astronomers might use if they're looking for a place to go stargazing or set up a telescope, you look for blue zones on these maps. Now there's really only one blue zone in the HRM and we're standing right in the middle of it. I believe that you know everyone should be able to see the night sky unobstructed by artificial lights. You can come out here on a dark night, on a moonless night, and see the Milky Way rising above the southern horizon in the summer, for example, and it's magical. This observatory belonged to Dr. Dave Lane. Dr. Lane was uh, the director of the Burt Gaffney Observatory at St. Mary's University. And I had the pleasure of working with Dave while I was doing my second undergrad in astrophysics at St. Mary's. And unfortunately, this March, uh, Dave passed away. And, uh, but before he did, his, the estate called me, his wife called me and asked if I would like to take over the Abbey Ridge Observatory and move it to Stargaze, Nova Scotia. And so that's what uh, Liam and I spent the summer doing. So here we go. The coolest part of the process was the dome going on for sure, because that just brought it from being a, a shed to being really an observatory. We started with taking it apart, so you really get to know the observatory and kind of care for it because we've carefully taken everything apart, labeled it, and carefully moved it over. And then actually seeing the plot of land turn from basically a blank piece of rock to a functioning observatory has been really cool. I think my favorite experience here was probably when we took out our first group for the society. Uh, it was really cool because obviously I had done some stargazing, but there are people who had never even seen like the Milky Way across the sky, for example. So it's, it's really moving for people and they seem to really enjoy it. That's crazy cool. Look at this. So I think Dave left quite an amazing legacy. Uh, you may have heard about the Starfinder program. That's a program that was set up by Dave Lane's estate to help sixth and ninth grade science teachers teach their students about space. And this observatory will be involved with the Starfinder program. You know, we'll have hopefully teachers here on site learning about the night sky and giving them the tools that they need to be able to teach their students about space exploration, the solar system, and maybe even telescopes too. With no telescope at all, it's just such a cool view. So our hope is that Dave's legacy lives on in this observatory. That's why we chose to keep the name Abbey Ridge, because that means a lot to a lot of people. And that way the people that were using the observatory before online and around the world can continue to use it in the future and the legacy will live on.